hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please do well to subscribe down below it's absolutely free and it helps the channel grow um so if you have watched my padding and ironing a princess that bustier video like the proper way to pad and iron your princess that bustier video then you probably are familiar with what we're going to be making today now in that video i showed you that you need to use a tailor's ham to iron the princess that bustier i'm touching my boobs because that's the part of the princess that bustier you need the um tailor's ham to iron and a lot of you had said that you want to know how to make that tailor's ham so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a tailor's ham that you can use to iron the bust parts of your princess that bust but the thing is the tailor's ham comes in different shapes and sizes it honestly depends on the parts of the outfit that you want to iron so depending on where you want to iron that will determine the kind or the shape of the tailor's ham that you're going to make so for this video we're going to be focusing on the one that's used to iron the bust parts of your princess that bust yeah i'm just gonna stop talking and let you guys see the tutorial <laughs> let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> so what you need to do first of all you need to get a piece of lining or maybe any piece of fabric that you're not really using um, you can go ahead and now measure 20 inches length so that's how long um, the fabric needs to be so just go ahead and mark that 20 inches length and then I'm just making sure that I have a straight line that's why I did this but if your fabric is straight you don't have to bother about that now from the width of the fabric you're going to have to measure is 10 inches so you're going to measure a fabric that is 20 20 <laughs> 20 inches long by 10 inches wide so 20 inches by 10 inches and once you just once you do that just go ahead and mark it and then cut that out just confirming that we have 20 inches by 10 inches and now what you want to do is you want to fold the fabric lengthwise and then you're going to sew the sides leaving half of an inch seam allowance now i've gone ahead to sew the sides with half of an inch seam allowance i'm just going to turn it to the right side now and then it's going to be like a bag basically so you want to have that space and then you're just going to go ahead and stuff pieces of fabric that you're no longer using so you see why it's good to actually keep some of this um leftover um fabrics just in case you want to make a tailor's ham so just take all the leftover fabrics you have and just stuff all of them into the the bag or sack or whatever you want to call it Make sure that you compress it so that it's tight because you don't want it to have space. If it has um, a lot of spaces, the ham is going to be soft at the end of the day. You want it to be really hard. So make sure you really compress it. Now, you're going to have to use a fusible interfacing. That's what this is called. So you can see it has a rough side and a smooth side. And it also comes in white and black so honestly it depends on you it honestly depends on you the the actual color of the interfacing you want to use I decided to use black because since I'll be using this Taylor's ham almost every day and for a long period of time uh, it's better if it's black so that the dirt on it doesn't show but if you want to use um, white you can definitely go for it so what you want to do is just cut strips of the um, interfacing honestly there's really no measurements um for the strips you can honestly just cut it as wide and as long as you want just make sure that um just cut it randomly basically and once you do that the first thing you want to do is try to use the first strip you cut to um hold um the part of the the um, bag that isn't filled with the with the leftover fabrics i hope that makes sense so once i filled the bag with the leftover fabrics I kind of filled 80% of the bag but the remaining 20% of the bag was you know not filled with the leftover fabric so that is the part of the fabric that I'm trying to just you know 
um, stick down with the um, interfacing. So simply just do this all over. What you want to do is you want to just um, this interfacing will basically just hold the tailor's ham in place. Alternatively, you can use a needle and a thread to just sew down the um, the fabric so that everything is nice and um, nice and secure. But I decided to use this um, interface interfacing because I find that it's more durable and you know um it stays put for a longer period of time and now what i'm just going to do is i'm going to take a piece of thread i'm going to double it and then i'm just going to use it to tie the um the ham now if you have a rope or any other um stronger piece of thread you can actually use that instead otherwise you can just use your regular sewing thread but then you can just double it and once i do that it kind of holds the ham in place a bit more so it makes it a bit more sturdy um compared to when i just use only the um interfacing now i'm going back with interfacing again like i said there's no real measurements to the strips you're going to be cutting just go ahead and just cut random pieces and then just try your best to as you're um sticking the interfacing on with the iron try your best to um pull it as you go along so that that um pull is going to make it even more sturdy it's going to make your ham even more sturdy so um yeah that's basically the whole process of making a tailor's ham you just have to do this over and over again try to shape it as you go along try to make it rounder as you can see when we started it wasn't this round but as we keep doing it we keep ironing we keep um pressing and pulling this is what we have at the end of the day lovely lovely remember to use the rough side of your interfacing on the ham so you're using the rough side you're placing the rough side on the ham and not the smooth side but yeah thank you guys for watching <laughs>